Kia ora and welcome back to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. Now today we're going to have a good look at this absolutely incredible, mighty, mighty camera. It is the one and only Rolli 35SE. Just look at that beast, look at that. Eh? How small, tiny, unobtrusive, discreet, well engineered, well put together, beautiful camera this little Rolli is. I've done a more in-depth video on this camera a while back. I'll put a link above. Just check that out if you want the details of it. So I'm not going to rehash all that malarkey. I put some film into this camera maybe six months ago. Started off with it and it was crunchy. Really, really crunchy when I'm winding on. I can't do it now because of the filming again. But I persevered, put the camera away for a while, dug it back out this week, finished off that roll of film and unfortunately, blank. Every single frame blank. The development went okay but there's nothing on it so that tells me that obviously the uh, the film wasn't advancing whatsoever so i've just got a blank roll of film so I've completely and utterly wasted my time there i've reloaded the camera with a roll of rolli rpx 100 i'm going to rate it iso 200 i've started on the roll of film but what, what i did when i loaded it this time i made a really slow and meticulous third effort of making sure the film was loaded i wound on a few extra times just to make sure that the film was advancing okay and it certainly was now on a normal camera you sort of wind on and you'll see the take-up spool spinning so you know you've got an advancing film on this one there isn't one there but you look on the bottom of the film which i didn't really realize this on the rewind knob itself obviously you've got that little inner circle there that spins like a good one when you're winding on there's your frame counter and we're up to frame number 23 so uh, we're just going to finish this film off it's a 36 roll this camera has got an inbuilt light meter but unfortunately I don't have a battery for it and I've no real intention of getting a battery for it to be honest I quite like to shoot it manually so what I do to record the light is use this the little Sekonic Flashmate L308B lovely little meter that as this is not a rangefinder camera and there's no way to accurately gauge your focus other than guesswork so it's basically a view camera so you've got this little scale here that gives you feet and meters feet in red meters in sort of white yellow if you're good at guessing your distances Working out your distances, you're going to have no problems. I'm not too clever with that. So uh, what I've done, I've picked up this little thing. I got this offline and it cost me the princely sum of five New Zealand dollars. It's a wattometer rangefinder. And basically you look through there, you've got a rangefinder patch in there and you sort of turn this wheel until the two images align. Once aligned, you know you've got focus. Then you read off the metering here. And in this case, it's sort of between 15 and 16 feet. That should give me a nice set of focused images, but we'll see. Time will tell on that one. Uh, and that's all, guys. So with these three little instruments, I'm hoping to make some quite nice photographs. But we'll see. We'll see. All it takes is a little bit of sunshine, and she changes her mind.